Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can customize the appearance of your Learn Dash courses. Now, a WordPress platform containing Learn Dash, its main appearance will be controlled by its theme, and we're using Astra theme here. And Astra theme is controlling things like the layout, the fonts. Uh, you can bring in your logo usually as part of your theme, and a lot of it is controlled by that aspect of it but what we're going to be focusing on is the features within learn dash that let you control things like the appearance of courses and particularly this interface here where you can see lessons and topics and this sidebar here so this template here is called learn dash's focus mode template and if you are new to Learn Dash and uh, have recently installed it, this is kind of the default. So most uh, platforms will have this active and enabled, and uh, yeah, it's quite familiar to many of you, I assume. And it's just a nice interface where you've got you know, your lessons and topics on the left hand side, and you can expand it and focus on your content here. Uh, you've got easy views of how far you are through courses, topics, lessons, and things like that. So uh, that is LearnDash's standard interface. And what we're going to do is show you how you can customize aspects of it. So if, you, if you're if you not seeing this, uh, when you look at your LearnDash courses, what you'd want to do is head to LearnDash LMS and then settings. And you want to check that you've got the active template as LearnDash 3.0. Uh, it might be that you've got legacy if you've had Learn Dash installed for a long time, uh, but 3.0 is the kind of feature rich interface that we saw there. So that's worth selecting. And um, what you want to do is make sure that this focus mode is enabled and it creates that nice interface there, this sort of it calls it a distraction free course experience where you've got your content and a sidebar which you can switch to the left or, or the right. There are a few kind of smaller tweaks that we can make here on set of accent colors and progress colors. But what I'm going to do is show you um, how you can have much more control over that. So we'll head to a course. And I'm just going to open this one here. Now this is just a basic course, um, you know, shown as it would appear in an Astra theme. And what we're going to do whilst logged in as a, an admin here is click on customize in the top bar and what this will do is reload the page inside this interface where we can kind of customize the appearance of it and depending on what themes and plugins you have installed you'll have different items in here i have astra theme and that gives a few options here uh, where you can change a lot of things like probably fonts and uh, general kind of global interface colors here but what we're wanting to look at here as part of this video is the learn dash styles here so this is a, a relatively new feature from learn dash that allows you to customize a lot of the aspects of the learn dash interface and while you're in this what you'll find is that you can open certain areas here and change things like colors and um, you know, just the appearance of certain bits. And um, you'll be able to make changes, but it's not until you actually click save, you know, which is one thing there, I'm just changing on the right hand side. Um, you're kind of viewing these um, in a sort of preview mode, and it's only when you click publish that these changes will actually be applied. So do feel free to have a play around with things in here, um, you know, just while you're setting things up. And it's only actually when you click publish that this would then be changed for anyone who's actually on the platform. So let's start with the global styles section within the Learn Dash styles area here. And what I was changing there was this complete kind of, it calls it a complete status here. Um, and we can change here the background color of it. And notice as I'm dragging around here and picking different colors, this will kind of generate a, a code for the color and um, i'll show you a code for the color every color in here has a slightly different code here and um, so what you want to do 
for consistency is take note of any colours that you do pick uh, so that you are using them elsewhere and you're not having slightly different colours in different parts of the interface. So you want to note the code for any colours that you're using. And if you are using brand guidelines for a company potentially, they would already have that code in there that you could just use and copy and paste into there. But just bear in mind that uh, you know every every color has its own code, and uh, you want to kind of stick to one specific one uh, for consistency purposes. So as you can see on the right hand side here, I'm dragging that round, and it's changing. We can change other things like the text color that appears in there. So I could make that yellow, for example, and just change that to be on brand with my platform. Likewise, uh, I don't think I've got a next and, and back button on here, but we can change things like that. So that might become more apparent in the um, course, uh, sorry, the lesson and topic pages that we'll get to shortly. So I've just made a, a simple change there. I've just changed the, um, you know, that button there to a, a slightly different color. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just click publish. I think we can also change things like the, the is the progress bar here. So uh, I'm going to change the progress bar to red, for example. And you can also change things like the progress bar text color next to it. Um, you know, you want to do something like that. Um, so I'm just going to pick some wacky colors here for demonstration purposes, but. Uh, that just shows you the control you've got over the courses page. So I've now published that and I'm going to click this cross here to the re reload the page as other learners would see it. And we can see here that the changes have been applied. So what we'll do now is take a step into the course. And I'm going to open a lesson here. And exactly the same as we did before, I'm just going to go to customize and from here, I'm going to open the Learn Dash Styles section here. And we're now in a lesson. So what I'm going to do is open the lesson pages here. So it um, says lesson pages section. And again, we can change things like uh, the you know, complete status background here if we want to and the text that appears within it you know uh, we can change those two um, things like the in progress status uh, we can change that as well uh, content header quiz complete so I, I think I've got a fairly basic lesson here but if you did have quizzes shown on here you could change those one thing we can change down here is the colors of the next and previous buttons. So in the same way, I'll just make those perhaps green and add you know, um, some light um, text within it. And one of the other things it allows you to change here is something called the border radius of these buttons. So by default, this might be picked from your theme, but it has this rounded button style. If I wanted these buttons to be square, I would set that to zero because that is has no radius at all on it. And you have you know, different settings depending on how much of a curve you want on these corners. So um, I've set that to five there and you can see it has quite a subtle uh, curve in the, in the corners here. And the more you increase that by, you know, 15 has a slightly more rounded edge. And then by the time you get to 25, that's more like a sort of pill style button here. So that gives you control over that. And I'm just going to click publish again. And we've you know, made some changes here. And the last thing I'll show you here is that we can change some aspects of the interface. So what it calls this here is the focus mode navigation panel. And that is what you know, learners would do to skip to different sections. If we change the header color here, we can see that that top bit there is changing um, into the, the colors that we we want here. Or we can change the you know the color of the the font that appears in there as well. And um, you know, make subtle changes there. 
Uh, header arrow icon background color. So that's possibly this one, is it? Um, yeah, so we can make that one a different color too and change the arrow itself to a different color. And uh, if we scroll down a bit, um, lesson content preview arrow. Do we have one of those in here? I'm not sure if we do. I don't think we've got one of those. Um, and then the current lesson is that, I think, here. So if we want to change that to yeah, purple, for example, um, we can do. So we've made some, some changes there via this section here, which is the focus mode navigation. So what we've done there is had a look at some sort of global styles, course styles, uh, you know, the lessons and topics you can edit separately. Um, and also quizzes. So quizzes give you a few settings over things like the breadcrumb colours and uh, other bits there. But I won't go into that as part of this video. I think you get the the picture of what you can change there. And uh, you know this is just learn as your own settings as part of the customizer that let you have a lot of control over the appearance of your LearnDash course interface. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.